everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be restyling some more of my old clothes to make them feel new again. This is an ongoing mini series that I have on this channel geared towards reinvigorating my wardrobe and finding inspiration in the familiar. So I like doing this. I've been doing this for a few years and recently started documenting it here on YouTube because it encourages me to get creative with styling, really appreciate the clothes that I have and not lose sight of of all of the goodness already at my fingertips. So it helps me curb the desire to shop and ultimately focus more on style rather than fashion. So I'm going to do some more of that in today's video, but with a little bit of a different twist. So I recently did a body typing video where I had my body analyzed by a couple different women that I really respect. And in doing so, they identified my individual composition and my uniqueness based basically, to categorize me into different categories that can help guide your fashion choices. So the idea is that you choose items to enhance what makes you individual rather than camouflage it. So I loved it. I will link that here for you in case you haven't seen that yet. But in that diagnosis video, I had two different women categorize me as what is called a flamboyant gamine within David Kibbe's typing system. And I thought that what would be fun as I start to explore those analyses more is to style some outfits from flamboyant gamines. So I've gone through and found some, some that are really recognizable and famous, and I've picked a couple outfits that I'm going to style for myself. So let's get started. I think the best place to start is probably with the most recognizable or famous flamboyant gamine in David Kibbe's typing system, and that is Audrey Hepburn. I was actually named after Audrey Hepburn because allegedly when I was born, I came out looking like I had a fresh pixie cut. So my parents thought that it fit me and I've always felt that my name does fit me. So I've sought a lot of inspiration from Audrey over the years, especially because I also took ballet, she was a ballerina, and lots of different style choices that she made throughout her career really worked for me. And they're things that I've incorporated into my own personal style identity. So I wanted to find two outfits that I think are not only quintessentially Audrey, but also focus specifically on styling and styling basics in a way that feels very fresh. So I found these two images and I liked both of them because they're very similar in the overall feel but I used each of them to kind of like put them together and create a version using my own wardrobe. So I came up with this. I went with my white button down and then I folded it over in that crossover style that she has, slightly popped the collar, just ever so slightly. And then I paired it with my really skinny black pants and ballet flats because of course, and also because in the full body image, she's wearing mules but I don't have any mules. And actually for my body typing video, I took my chunky sandals and folded the backs under and then just stood in them to make them look like mules. But for this, I wanted something that was actually wearable. So I thought my ballet flats were perfect. I also really like the ballet flats because they echo the white from the top. And if you notice in this image, that's one thing that she's done and she's done a lot. And it's something that I incorporate into my own style ethos. So by echoing the color and doing light, dark, light, dark, especially coupled with my dark hair. So then you get dark, light, dark, light. I think it helps ties everything together. And it also creates a lot of dynamic movement within the outfit without having to go overboard in pattern or color. So I've always really liked it and I find it really impactful. And then to finish it all off, I pulled my hair back into a deep side part um, bun or low ponytail would work just as well. And I did that to kind of give the look of a pixie. So I roughed up the edges ever so slightly to make it look a little bit more lived in and a little bit less perfect. And then still give myself some geometry around my face, which as you can see from how I'm wearing my hair today, I really love. I used to wear my hair like this all the time. And then I somehow got out of it as I started blow drying my hair and straightening my hair and wearing it in a style that kind of went with everything. So I'm really enjoying bringing this back into my arsenal. 
And then the absolute finishing touch is the earrings. And these are my Audrey earrings. They look exactly like the earrings that she wears in, I believe Sabrina is the movie that we see them in. And I got these on Etsy and unfortunately the quality is turning out to be very poor. So I've only had them for a couple months and they're already tarnishing, which is really disappointing, but I'm on the lookout for something very similar because these have become an absolute must for my style. And I think all together, the whole look is so good. It's something that I obviously would wear. I have worn this in the past, but I think that what I love about it particularly is that the white shirt is such a basic piece, but it's been styled in a way that feels fresh. And I think that the more you practice stuff like that, the better you get and the more I guess liberating the whole style experience can become because that's something you can constantly reinvent and reinterpret for yourself as you go throughout your style journey. So I just absolutely loved this. Moving right along, this next image comes from Victoria Beckham and I really love her style like most of you I'm sure. I have so many images saved over on Pinterest featuring looks that she's put together because they're really elegant but also really wearable and I think that with a couple tweaks here and there to suit what you prefer, Pretty much anyone can wear these, so I personally really admire that. And this outfit is one that I was really excited to recreate because it features a sweater vest, and I really love sweater vests, and they happen to be really on trend right now. So to replicate this look, I don't have a printed sweater vest. Instead, I have kind of like a shell, I guess, like a cardigan shell kind of thing. It's got a crew neck, and it's not v-neck, and it's black, and it's not printed. But I thought that it would give us some similar effect. So I took that, layered it over my white shirt that I had just styled for the other outfit, paired it also with my skinny black pants, and then I also paired it with my printed flat, uh, pumps, excuse me, because I thought that the printed shoes would help give that print and that vibrancy that you're getting from the sweater vest. So I kind of swapped what she has to get the look that I recreated. And then I wore my hair down, but deeply parted on the side like she has, put on my sunglasses, and then also carried my clutch that is in a similar color to the shoes to help tie it all together again. And this is so good. I really Really, really love this outfit. This reminds me of what I used to wear to work a lot when I was working and living in New York because it's very comfortable but still polished and you can easily swap out the shoes for any kind of season that you're working with and any kind of weather to make it either dressier or more casual or more walkable or less walkable depending on what you have going on that day. So huge fan of this one. I will definitely be recreating this soon and possibly looking for a new sweater vest that's got the print and the, the kind of tapered in waist area because I think that that could be really, really great for my style as well. Next, I wanted to style an outfit from another Audrey and that is Audrey Tattoo. As far as I understand, in Kibby's system, she used to be a gamine, but he has since removed that category. So now she's a flamboyant gamine and I I love that because I really love Audrey Tattoo. She's been a personal style icon of mine for a very long time because we're the exact same height and we also have very similar coloring. So I can incorporate a lot of the things that work for her into my own wardrobe and lifestyle and they work for me as well. I also wanted to use her in this video because I wanted to show you that you can find an image that is not even a full outfit and still get outfit inspiration and tweak it and get inspired to create something that's a head to toe look. So I found this picture and it's the only one I could find that has this kind of look. So I'm not really sure what's going on below like the chest level cause it's kind of just a headshot. But what I loved is that it's got this printed vibrant top and then something really straight and almost crew neck and really dark underneath it. Since I don't have a shirt or anything as vibrant and printed as this one, I decided to go with my striped button down because it gives that texture and that interest and then bring in the print in my shoes a little bit more. So I layered my button down underneath my basic crew neck navy sweater so the colors would play nicely together because I can't stop myself from color coordinating like that. And then I paired it with my 
skinny jeans, but let the shirt hang out underneath the sweater so that you get that collar, sweater, sleeve collars, coll and then shirt underneath, and then the jeans. So it gives that beautiful play back and forth that I really like. And then for the shoes, I went with my printed shoes that I had just included in the other outfit because they've got that print and the color, and I think that they kind of liven everything up a little bit. And I think that in an ideal world, these would be even better if the shoes were brighter and had maybe red in them or a really great burgundy or something like that, because I think that would read as more of a punch, which I think would really tie it all together. And then for my hair, I didn't want to be able to, I wouldn't be able to create the exact kind of pixie look that she has. So instead, I wore my hair in a high ponytail, but kind of loose around my face to give that movement and interest. And I was really happy with it. This is a very practical outfit, really, really cute, and a great base for so many other outfits that you could build up or down as the seasons change. So you can change out the shoes, add a jacket, take off the sweater, add accessories, and do all the things that I love to do with fashion and have a base that's really, really practical and really, really cute. When I did my body typing video, I worked with Nona, who you guys all saw in that video. And one thing that she said, I think I may have cut it out because the video got really long with everything. So I had to be strict with editing. But one thing that she said when she was analyzing me was that I reminded her in kind of body geometry and slight essence of another flamboyant gamine, which is Penelope Cruz and another personal favorite of mine. I think that not only is her fashion sense fantastic, but where she's also my celebrity skin twin and if you saw my olive skin video I recommended finding a skin twin in a celebrity that has coloring that's really similar to yours because you can use that and the expertise that they have all of those makeup artists and hairstylists and and wardrobe consultants and you can use that to influence your own wardrobe and kind of get free advice so she's been that for me for a very long time and all of the colors tend to work really well on me as well especially as i'm more tan in the summer so i wanted to include this outfit also because nona in her diagnosis or analysis she said that she recommended this outfit and I loved it immediately because it's something that I would already wear but it's also like a perfect base for accessories like the last outfit that we just did so as you can see she's taken a blazer pushed up the sleeves to make it a little bit more relaxed paired it with either a t-shirt or a tank top it's kind of hard to tell but it's got like a scoop or kind of open uh, feel up at the top and then I think she's wearing a full suit so the suit bottoms but then also pushed up slightly so instead I went with my jeans that I just styled in the last outfit and then white sneakers and you get the same effect that you did in a lot of those other outfits where you're getting the dark light dark light and it ties everything together and it's also something that I would actually wear in my everyday life because this is an outfit that I do wear in my everyday life and I wanted to get really familiar with putting these things together as I'm going through this process of trying on different things and playing around with styling and becoming familiar with what really feels the most harmonious for me. So as you've seen through the other looks that we've done, this is one that I have worn in the past and will continue to wear because it's just so practical for my life. I instantly feel like myself when I put it on because I feel like I can do a lot of things. I don't feel restricted by clothing. It's practical, but also cute and structured. And I really, really love especially like structured blazers and structured tops. So this is so me and just so good and a really great starting point for so many other looks that I could build off of this with accessories because I immediately thought, ooh, a hat, a scarf, change the shoes and you've got a great outfit that you can wear any time of the year. And now for the last outfit, we're gonna go back to Victoria Beckham, but also do kind of a hybrid. So Victoria Beckham, as far as I understand, is a verified flamboyant gamine from Kibby System. And Tessa Thompson, an actress that I really love and admire for her fashion sense, I don't know is verified, 
but I've seen her diagnosed or typed as a flamboyant gamine in the past, and I 100% agree. So I thought this was so great because they're wearing the same outfit, but styled ever so slightly differently, and again, serving as great inspiration for kind of like mild fall weather and then into winter. So I had to experiment with this one. So this was super easy to recreate using my own clothes because I've got the turtleneck, I've got the new jeans. This is the pair of jeans that I added for fall in that kind of updated cut. It's like the looser 90s style and then I folded up the, the hems to give it that color block down by the ankles. And then my black ankle boots. This is the pair that I added a little bit ago, I think last year, maybe the beginning of, of last year, and they're suede, they've got a heel, and they're more of a sock booty style, so they fit really slim under the pants, and they go together really, really well. So as a base, this is something that I have already worn and will continue to wear, because I just love it. It's practical, comfortable, really chic and elegant, and it feels like something you could wear at any time in your life, and then change up as your preferences change, and depending on where you live. So specifically for the Victoria Beckham version, of this outfit, I pulled my hair back like she has, put on my sunglasses, and then you could easily carry the clutch. And this would be something that I could wear even into the beginning of winter here because it doesn't get that cold. Sometimes we get really cold weather, but for the most part, it's pretty mild. And this would be a very wearable look and something super comfortable and easy. And then to make it into the Tessa Thompson outfit, all I had to do was add a couple things. So the first thing that I did was add the jacket because she's got the black jacket over it and mine isn't the exact same style as hers but I think it still works because it gives that that same effect basically and ties the sweat the shirt with the jacket and then back to the shoes giving your eye a place to go and I think that much like you would paint or photograph or just create a collage of some sort you kind of want to direct where the eye is going to go and I think that by repeating the color you do that really Really, really well. This is very much me. This is a version of something that I've worn pretty much every time um, of my life that I've been aware of fashion. So since maybe like high school, I've been duplicating looks like this, specifically because the turtlenecks I started wearing because I was always cold and Audrey Hepburn famously wore turtlenecks and mock necks. So I had a quite a few in my wardrobe over the years, and I just think that it's always a perfect piece for me. So I loved these outfits. And there you have it. Those are some more outfits that I've recently gathered for inspiration to reinvigorate my wardrobe. And I've been using it as a really great way to kind of experiment with styling and also become more familiar with what makes a certain style classified as a certain thing. And then how I can use all of that knowledge to better put together outfits fits when I feel like I'm at a roadblock because I think I mentioned this in my body typing video but part of the reason why I did that was because I felt like I was collecting a lot of things into my closet and styling them in a way that was fine but still I felt like something was missing so I think by having the logic behind repetition and color blocking and flowy fabrics and different colors that I was recommended from that video, I think I'm better able to understand why I like things and why I don't like things, and then ultimately how I can kind of merge all of those in a way that feels like me. So this was a really good experiment in that vein, and I really enjoyed doing this version of the video because it's something that I've been experimenting with in my own life, obviously, outside of the videos that I make, and being able to put the outfits together and then film them was really helpful. So so like always, I really recommend this exercise, whether it's for something like what I'm doing right now or just to reinvigorate your closet. Maybe you feel stuck and you're getting really bored and you're thinking, oh, what can I buy? Instead of thinking like that, think, what could I restyle? And maybe change up in some way and then go from there with all of the amazing images that we have over on Pinterest. So I will link my Pinterest boards down below for you so that you could maybe get some inspiration as well. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.